In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable and install the Taskforce Arrowhead Radio Beta plugin. Unlike Acre 2, it does not install automatically when you load and install the mod for the very first time. You're going to want to go ahead, open up your Arma 3 launcher, find your Arrowhead Radio Beta mod, go ahead and click these three little dots, open folder in Windows Explorer. Just I understand the risks. Go ahead and find your mod folder. Then inside there's going to be a bunch of different files and three folders. You're going to want to open up the TeamSpeak folder. Inside there's this executable. Go ahead and run that. You're going to want to make sure that TeamSpeak itself is closed while you do this for the best results possible. Here you check your version. Make sure that's the most recent version uh, for the actual add-on for the mod. You can check that on their website. Just go ahead and click install. You trust this plugin, want to proceed, yes. Then this is just asking whether or not you want to activate the add-on. You can click yes or no. If you're going to be using TFAR, then click yes. Then once that's complete, you can go ahead and open up TFAR. If you clicked no, or even if you click yes to ensure that it has loaded, you want to just go tools, options, scroll down to wherever it is, and it's going to show up as your task force arrowhead radia with that version number. And then if you would click no, it would say disabled, but we clicked yes, so it's enabled. One thing you want to make sure is if you are running Acre or another Task Force Radio, the on Arrowhead Radio version, that those plugins are disabled before you enable the TFAR plugin. Sometimes it can cause issues for some individuals. Once that's complete, just go ahead and click OK, and then you should be able to utilize TFAR in server.